Hi, micro services important topics everybody should know before attending an interview. The first one, monolithic architecture versus micro services architecture. What are the challenges with monolithic architecture? What are the advantages with micro services architecture? Second one, service registry, which is also called as discovery server. All the APIs we have in our application, we can register at one place, that is service registry. We can use Eureka server as a service registry. Second one, admin server, which is used to monitor and manage all the applications health we have in our project. And third one, Jipkin server, which is used for distributed tracing. By using Jipkin server, we can understand how many microservices involved in one request processing and how much time each microservice is taking to process that request. And next one, config server. It is used to make our application loosely coupled with configuration properties. Instead of keeping the configuration properties inside our application, we can keep them outside of the project and we can load it by using config server. And the next one, APIs development. We should understand how to develop a REST API and we should also know how to establish inter-service communication among those APIs by using VM client. And we should know what is API gateway. API gateway is going to act as a entry point for all our microservices. And we should implement security for our microservices by using JWT tokens. Nowadays, JWT security is very popular in microservices based application. By using Spring security, we can implement those JWT tokens. Along with these things, we should also know how to implement event-driven based microservices by using distributed streaming platform like Apache Kafka. So what is producer in the Kafka? What is a subscriber in the Kafka? How to communicate with the Kafka from our boot applications also we should know. And next one, how to implement cache in our microservices by using Redis platform. And we should know how to containerize our microservices for deployment by using Docker and how to manage our containers by using orchestration platform like Kubernetes and how to automate our microservices deployment process by using CICD server like Jenkins also we should know. And next one, how to test our microservices. Microservices are nothing but backend APIs, right? How to test them by using Postman tool and how to expose our microservices documentation by using Swagger. These all topics are very very important and every developer should know these topics before attending an interview. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.